and welcome back. I am the Sovereign and this is my court. This is not an official court council because this does not pertain to all the members of my court. Those of you who are here to watch this video are most likely already knowledgeable of the situation and I don't plan on going in depth as I normally would in a court council which is why this is not a court council though I will try to fill in some of the backstory. I am over here trying to live my life. It is peak pageant season and I have plenty of other things to do than to be sitting here talking about these people. But several of you have come to me on Twitter and notified me of what's going on and I have checked in on the situations and I had intended to come back. I already had a video planned but it's for much later in the year so I've just been sitting back biding my time waiting but this is a situation that needs to be addressed. I have avoided speaking about Chantal because I knew deep down in my soul there was gonna come a day where she was going to piss me off. I knew that. I knew that she was problematic. I knew that she does things that she is not supposed to be doing. Chantal is a YouTuber that Charlie Gold has been talking about continuously. She, Char Chantal is basically Charlie's new Amber Lynn because the whole Amber Lynn thing has kind of been shut down at this point. So Charlie thinks it's okay to just replace her with Chantal. She seemingly doesn't understand why she has been dragged across YouTube for so many months. If you need the history and the backstory of my talking about whatever with Charlie Gold, I have a whole playlist dedicated to that. So Chantal's the new Amberlynn on Charlie's channel. Charlie's been picking on Chantal continuously for like a year and Chantal has been clapping back and clapping back and clapping back. But Chantal went to the length of Char calling Charlie Gold, Charlie Cole. <laughs> I don't know what people were thinking. Like, why do I always have to repeat myself? Because people seemingly complain about me repeating myself. I have said many times, but apparently I have to say it again. I have boundaries and lines that you do not cross. And maybe Chantal thought that because of my adversarial relationship and dislike for Charlie Gold that I wouldn't say anything. Maybe she felt safe in doing that, but she missed a key point where I said, I have boundaries. Chantal, you are totally out of line. And I think that she thought maybe it was gonna be okay because I have called Charlie Gold out on using the racism excuse several times. Charlie likes to make it seem like people don't like her because she's black. And 80% of the time she's using the racism excuse to try to get herself out of hot water or any backlash, which is BS. And that's what I called her on. People don't like you because of your skin color. Honestly, that's probably the one likable thing about her. It has nothing to do with her skin color, but here comes Chantal giving the one instance, that other 20%, Chantal wants to give Charlie that one instance where she's actually correct. Did you not think that I wouldn't side with Charlie on this one Be simply because I'm not biased? I do not like the woman, but I am not going to allow Chantal to trash the black community simply because I think that Charlie is a deplorable person. Charlie being a deplorable person has nothing to do with the fact that she's black. And then Chantal comes out here and says, well, then people of color can use this excuse constantly against whatever they want. Chantal, let me explain some things to you. Making a passive remark against Charlie and calling her Charlie Cole wouldn't make sense if you said it to a white person. If you said it to a white person, if you're trying to make it like an undercover joke, it wouldn't make sense because in order for a joke to work, there has to be some similarity connecting context there. And the only connecting context between Charlie and a piece of coal is her color. So don't sit here and BS the YouTube community and fans and saying it's not racist. It 100% is. And this one instance, Charlie is correct in calling you racist. And I, you should not be surprised and that I'm saying that. Just because I've come out against Charlie Gold and told her to stop using the racism excuse does not mean she's not allowed to use it in legitimate provable context. Y'all should have been paying more attention because when life of a free spirit, Emperor Calpatine as I like to call her, no shade Callie, I legitimately do like that name girl. You should roll with it. Please use like the Darth Vader background music or something like come on it would be funny and I would watch. But Emperor Calpatine posted on her Twitter a legitimately racist remark that was made towards her and you know what I did? I liked it and commented it and I was just like yep Callie you're 100% right I don't care if I don't like you I'm not gonna let racism fly against anyone because you're not hurting just one specific person you're coming after my community and I have made it incredibly clear here on my channel how much I hate racism and I don't say the word hate lightly I hate 
racism. And Chantal, that is a verifiably racist remark and it's it's so unnecessary because i'm gonna tell you the same thing that i tell charlie there are legitimate reasons to come after charlie like actual valid reasons for what reason would you put down her color of all the different things you have against her you want to go for her color you have made yourself no different than charlie going after your weight or your looks you are exactly like her and yes, I find the need to speak about it because evil shall not prosper in my presence, especially when you go over the line into the black community. What, what, what made you think that I wasn't about to come on YouTube? I had no intention on saying anything about the hater nation or none of you unworthy people until the end of the year, yet here I am. And Chantal's gonna be like, what? Well, I'm just trying to defend myself. I'm just trying to defend myself. This is not a legitimate defense against anything. Honestly, Chantal, let me tell you this. Don't ever speak on Charlie again. Just don't. I'm telling you do not do any more commentary on Charlie Gold because you're bad at it. You are bad at it. Chantal's job is to put crap into her mouth. There should be no crap coming out of your mouth. So here's a proposition for you, Chantal. I will personally mail you a pie. Okay, send me a P.O. box, your address if you feel comfortable. I will have it, I will have, I won't even get a store-bought one. I will send you a fresh baked, perfectly made, delicious pie. I'll spend a significant amount of money on it. And every time you feel the need to let crap come out of your mouth, eat a piece of the pie because that's, that's what you're good at. You should keep your job right there in the mukbang community. Because now, instead of all of us keeping our attention on the negativity that Charlie Gold is spewing out into the universe, I have to sit here and deal with your racism. I can't believe you had the audacity to even think that it wasn't racist and then do the one thing that I can't stand that what racist white people do. Obviously not all white people are racist, but everything, every time a racist white person says something, they then like to cover themselves and be like, oh my God, you guys are so sensitive. Oh my God, people of color, like no. You do not then get to denote what people of color are telling you. It was racist. And you're completely undermining all the work that other YouTubers and other fans have been doing and trying to call attention to Charlie Gold's negativity. You are not helping. You're making the situation worse. So once again, please stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Don't speak on Charlie Gold again. I'm gonna, here, here's some more tips because she, clearly Chantal, Chantal needs, you need some help, sis. So let me sit here, gather myself and help you out a little bit, okay? Chantal, let me remind you that Charlie Gold has promised the entire YouTube community and her fans that she's going to be 220 pounds by the end of this year. Hi everybody, I'm sitting here editing and I realize that this portion is not fully fleshed out. So let me tell you the full context of Charlie Gold's promise. Charlie Gold promised that she would be 220 pounds by the end of this year. And if she failed, she would delete her channel. So when I say drag Charlie Gold on her failure, I mean her failure to follow through in deleting her channel because we all know that that is not going to happen. That's what she promised by the end of this year. She said she's keeping to it and she's going to weigh in. And we all know that Charlie has not been able to follow through on anything she's ever said, ever, not once, okay? So bide your time and eat the pie that I am more than willing to send you for the next two months. And then once Charlie Gold inevitably fails to follow through once again, drag her on her failure. Drag her on her hypocrisy. Drag her on that. But never once again in my life, ever, should I hear anything come from Chantal's mouth regarding racism. Sis, if you wanna be racist, put a pillowcase over your head and go be racist in your closet. Do not bring negativity to the YouTube platform in front of thousands of people and think it's going to fly. And I did see other YouTubers finally start to jump in on the matter and I kind of understand why they have been holding off. I did say in one of my previous videos that I am not the only person that had noticed, even though I was one of the first to speak out, I knew other YouTubers knew what Charlie was doing was wrong. I knew big YouTubers knew about Charlie and I have discussed Charlie with some big YouTubers and I have posted um, a clip from one of another YouTube's channel, uh, another YouTuber's channel on Twitter them talking about the hater nation and the nastiness that comes out of hater nation. Big YouTubers are aware that Charlie is an embarrassment and the things that she says are wrong. The reason bigger YouTubers aren't coming out is because they don't wanna give her a bigger platform. They don't wanna give her the notoriety. It's kind of the same reason I have never spoken about Peaches. Someone in my Kingdom Discord wants me to talk about Peaches. And the reason I don't wanna bring up the subject is because her, her notoriety is dying. And I would rather I would rather let it go. Yeah, I can make a, vi a video completely destroying and eviscerating Peaches, which would be warranted. But my 
it, it would be me undermining my own cause. I don't want her to have any notoriety the same way I don't think Charlie even deserves a platform. So I understand why bigger YouTubers aren't speaking on her nonsense. But another YouTuber did speak, it was Karina Kaboom. And hey Karina, okay, and I want, before I even start talking about this, no shade to Karina at all, period. The, no shade, because I actually do watch Karina Kaboom's channel and I have been watching for a while now. So if Karina ever sees this or fans of Karina, I like Karina, so no shade to you, girl, okay? Keep doing you. But I do have to disagree about Charlie on one key point. Charlie Gold is not smart. She is not. Karina is smart. Charlie Gold is not smart. And I know Charlie Gold is not smart because Charlie Gold started her channel as a weight loss channel and had the backing of the fitness community and a big boost from big YouTubers. She squandered it. Charlie Gold has neglected her fans. She's not listened to her fans. She's allowed herself to plummet in subscribers and still hasn't taken note from what her own subscribers are telling her. And I was one of those very brief subscribers. She doesn't even have the common sense to diversify her own channel like great. If you're good at talking crap, which arguably she's not, we'll get into that. If you are good at talking crap, at least talk crap about several different people. Once again, Karina Kaboom is more of a drama type of channel. She talks a lot about he who shall not be named, okay? The walking Skeletor. She talks a lot about him, but of course she talks about a lot of different influencers and YouTubers here on the platform. Karina talks about many different people. That is smart because number one, going after one or two people completely goes against YouTube's terms of service. But on top of that, like, as I have said in previous videos, it's just, it's simple bullying. It is bullying. So if she was in fact smart, she would at least die because there's an entire field of people that Charlie could go after. Nikocado Avocado is one of those people. He has also spoken about Charlie as well. He's one of the YouTubers, influencers that have spoken and he was just like, she's gross. And I 100% agree with Nick on that. She is, but if Charlie really seemingly was putting in effort and trying to do anything, if she had any sense whatsoever, she could have gone after Nikocado Avocado and plenty of other muckbangers in the community that, that are seemingly making, um, a mockery of their obesity because she likes to pretend like it's just Amber and Chantal. No, but those are the two people you like to pick on though, right? Right, Charlie? Those are the only two people, but there are plenty of other people that fit that category. So then you cannot say that the only reason I'm talking about them is because they make a mockery of their illness when there's at least 10 other people that are doing the same thing that you have never spoken on. Charlie Gold's reasoning is bullshit. And once again, Karina said, which like, like I said, no shade to Karina. In many instances, Karina is more hardcore than I am. I've watched several of her, her videos and I was like, well, she's actually pointed out to me that I'm being too nice. There are many instances where I am too nice. But in this instance, Karina, I think you're the one being a little bit too nice. I'm sure that she was trying to be nice and uplifting and inspiring and trying to nicely guide Charlie towards a different path. Karina, girl, I've already tried. I have already tried, but it was very nice of you to attempt to yourself. Charlie Gold has no talents. She has no skills to speak of. I will say that when she actually does manage to open her mouth and say a few words within a 20 minute video, she might speak for like a minute and 30 seconds. She has a good cadence about her. She can actually say words. She speaks English decently, but she has nothing to say. She has nothing to say. Everything that comes out of her mouth is very demeaning. It's, it, 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 she has nothing to say. And that's why she hasn't been able to branch out into any other field. Look, you guys, we all have to be honest about this. Charlie Gold has the entertainment value of a slug trying to race a rock across the pavement. The only joy that I get from the thing is when I sprinkle salt on it. Like I said, there are many things to say against Charlie Gold. There is no need to resort to racism. And I will say the same thing in this video as I have said in videos about Charlie Gold. This is not me coming out in defense of Charlie Gold the way that me going against Charlie Gold was not me going in defense of Amber. When you guys throw these insults, whether it be obesity or racism, you are not targeting one specific person. You are targeting that entire community. When Charlie Gold calls Chantal a whale or a fat pig, that impacts the entire spectrum of obese and overweight people who arguably have enough to deal with, like life's hard enough. When Chantal goes against Charlie Gold and makes says something that demeans her race, you're not demeaning Charlie Gold, you're demeaning her race and, and everybody that encompasses, which is <laughs> it's not gonna fly, it's not gonna fly. So, 
Congratulations, Chantal. You, you may now add yourself to the list of deplorable people that I have worn the crown of shade against. This includes the President of the United States, the President of China, Charlie Gold, several racist pageant queens, uh, the walking skeleton, and Shane Dawson. You can now add yourself to the list because racism does not fly with me. And the fact that you sat there and she was just like, I don't understand the problem, go educate yourself. Please go educate yourself. I mean, it is clearly in dire need. I do not care what, how Chantal lives her life. Like some people are gonna be like, oh my God, but she eats horrible things. Look, I am not a doctor and I'm not Chantal's family member. If she wants to eat herself into a coma or like blitz a whole bunch of McDonald's large fries, that is her life and she can do, I just, I have no investment in these people's personal lives. And that's why I really have an issue with Charlie seemingly sticking her foot into everybody's house as if she has the right. But Chantal, you bet not ever stick your foot into my community again. Ever. Ever. And I know that Chantal, she's the, she loves to post a community tab. She loves to attempt to issue a clapback. And Chantal's clapbacks are as terrible as Charlie's is. But Chantal, please try me. Please try me. Please try me. I have a lot of pent up energy and creativity. If I had the audacity to roast fertilizer fields, don't think for one second that I would not come for you. This was wholeheartedly over the line. Now I am done talking about these very unworthy people as I have legitimately better things to do. I have actual queens to be talking about. It is peak pageant season, but I will be keeping an eye out for Charlie's end of the year weigh-ins and goals. Yes, we will all be watching closely. Thank you for watching this very sporadic video. As you can see that I just didn't even take the time to put on lashes because why? For them, I think not. But for the rest of you, the rest of my courtiers who have sat here with me, thank you so much. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this dumpster fire, these racing slugs, these, I just, ugh, deplorable human beings. I'm just, you, you, you guys cannot get your lives together. And we're not gonna sit here and argue about racism and bullying, okay? like. These are like the easiest things on the internet to be like, yeah, that's wrong. Why is it so hard for you? Why is life so hard for you? Leave your comments in the comments section below. Have at it. Um, thank you to everybody who has been keeping me up to date with this nonsense because if it wasn't for you guys, I never would have known. I have, I haven't, I have not been keeping up. Um, but if you want to talk to me, all the links are in the description box below. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Oh, now I'm getting back to my happy self. I don't know how Charlie manages to just deal with this dark energy constantly but then again no because of course it doesn't impact her soul because she doesn't have one but well, okay i'm done i'm done i'm sorry i'm i'm done i'm done i love you i'll miss you and you know i will be back in a future hopefully much more happy video bye